Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss filters and search. There are many different search features in ServiceNow. Searches in ServiceNow are powerful because they support search operators or wildcards. So, what are wildcards? Well, let's take a look at some. There are a number of wildcard search conditions that ServiceNow supports. These can be used in most search bars within the system. Some of the most common are shown in this table. There is a star term, which is a contained search condition, an exclamation star term, which is a does not contain search condition, an equals condition, which is an exact string match, an exclamation equals, which is not equals, a term percentage, which is a starts with search condition, and finally a percentage term, which is an ends with search condition. I have some examples shown in the last column of this table. However, we'll also look at some examples within ServiceNow. So we'll start in a list view of open incidents. We'll click the magnifying glass, which will bring up search bars under each column. We'll start with a star email search condition, which will find all incidents that have the word email in their short description field. Now you can see that email with a capital E and email in all uppercase have been returned as well. The contains operator is not case sensitive. Let's try adding an exclamation star email search condition. As we expect, this returns all incidents that do not have the word email in the short description. Now let's try an equals. This is interesting. Why is no incident with email in the short description coming back? Well, it turns out equals matches the exact string in its entirety. Since there is no incident with a short description of only the word email, we aren't getting any incidents back. Let's try matching an exact string of an incident's short description to verify this. Yep, looks to be working as expected. Now let's try an exclamation equals, or a not equals search condition. Hmm, why is email is down showing up? Well, if you notice, there is an extra space before email in this search string. The search operator is taking this space into account when attempting to match the exact string. And since the incident does not start with a space, it is being returned. Let's remove the space and rerun the query to verify that this is working properly. As we can see, email is no longer being returned. Let's try a term percentage which is a starts with condition. We'll try SAP percentage, and we can see three incidents whose short description start with the characters SAP. And finally, let's try a percentage term with the term being page. This is a ends with search condition. As we can see, we have two incidents whose short descriptions and with the word page. Now let's discuss the Condition Builder. The Condition Builder is a very powerful tool that allows users to define search criteria without writing any actual SQL statements. You can access related fields that are a part of the table you are searching on. You can also save the search conditions for later use and copy the search conditions so you can use them in scripting or to send to other colleagues. The format of the condition builder starts with the field, which is any field that is on the table being filtered, in this case the incident table. Next is the search operator, which in this list favor the more verbose description as opposed to the wildcards, and finally the value of the specified field. We'll now take a look at the condition builder within ServiceNow. 
When you click the filter icon, the condition builder is displayed. Here you can see that I am selecting fields on the incident table and setting their values. In this case, I'm setting active equal to true and caller is system administrator. We'll now click run, which will return all incidents that are active and the caller is system administrator. Now let's quickly discuss breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs appear at the top of a list that have one or more filters applied to it. Each and or filter applied in the condition builder appends a new breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs are dynamic, so if you were to click the greater than sign right before a particular breadcrumb statement, the statement is removed from the search criteria and a new query is ran with a returned list matching the new conditions. Of course, you can also go back into the condition builder and just click the X button next to a filter to remove it. You can also copy queries or URLs by right-clicking the breadcrumb and selecting from the context menu. This can be helpful when sharing complex queries and filters. Now let's take a look at breadcrumbs within ServiceNow. Here you can see that we're back in the incidents list. At the top, we have a breadcrumb all, active equals true, caller equals system administrator. If we click all, the other fields will be removed and we'll see a list of all incidents. Let's click the filter icon to add some filters. And when we click Run, the filtered list will be returned with the newly generated breadcrumb at the top. We'll go ahead and right-click the breadcrumb and copy the URL.